Hi guys, welcome to Just Right. I'm Paul Manicone. Thank you for joining me. In the last video, we talked about the debate and how easy it was for Joe Biden to lie. If you haven't seen that video yet, I'll put a link up. Please click on it. I think you'll find it interesting. Today, I want to talk about how his administration lies. It's one thing to not tell the truth. And if you're a politician, you lie for a living and you do it on both sides, Republicans and Democrats. But it's the way this administration lies that makes this issue so disturbing. They have the ability to look directly at the American people and not only lie, but to tell us the exact opposite of what is true. Now, I know Joe is out of the race, but we can't talk about Democrats lying and not mention Joe because he was one of the best. We all know that inflation was just 1.4% when Trump left. Watch Joe lie and claim that it was 9% when he took office. We have dramatically reduced inflation from 9% down to close to 3%. We're in a situation where we're better situated than we were when we took office. It was 9% when I came to office. 9%. But it, look, people have a right to be concerned. I think inflation has gone slightly up. It was at 9% when I came in, and it's now down around 3%. And because our media is so corrupt, he's not challenged when he lies like this. Any one of those so-called reporters could have stopped him and said, no, Mr. President, inflation wasn't at 9% when you took office but instead they allow it. And these figures are on government websites, including whitehouse.gov and the BLS. He knows that we know this is not true. And yet he goes out there with a straight face and tells you, no, inflation was at 9%. And he takes no responsibility for the inflation that he and Kamala caused. Do you take any blame for inflation, Could you Mr. Just, President? I take any blame for inflation? No. Right. Why not? Because it was already there when I got here, man. Remember what the economy was like when I got here? Jobs were hemorrhaging. Inflation was rising. Inflation was rising? Here's the chart. You can see in January of 2021, when Joe and Kamala took office, inflation was just 1.4%, but it reached a high of 9.1%. Do you know how high that is? That is the highest level in 41 years. And they like to claim that inflation is coming down, but coming down from where? Maybe it's down from the Biden-Harris high of 9.1%, but it's still nowhere near the level when Trump left. We're still at 3.4%, which is more than double the rate than when Trump handed over the economy. But here's the thing about inflation that few people realize. Inflation is cumulative. It builds from one month to the next. When they say inflation for June is only 3%, which is much better than June of last year where it was 6%, what they're really saying is prices today are up 9% when compared to June of two years ago. But the administration doesn't word it like that. Instead, they come out and say, Look what a great job we're doing. We cut the rate of inflation in half. 6% last year to only 3% this year. But that doesn't mean prices are going down. It just means they're going up at a slower rate. The only way prices will come down is if we have deflation, and that will never happen. That hasn't happened since the Great Depression. 